Episode 45 blog, The Thought, Feeling, and Action of Respect, is available to read along at my website blog page, www.janetandbeyond.com. Life is not easy at times. It will challenge us in offering an infinite variety of concerns to focus on over the course of our lives. And all of that is the given in the confines of the physical realm. What makes it easier to experience? Would you consider respect? These days, we seem to be in a reality questioning respect. Sometimes we know something best by what it is not. The opposite of respect is contempt. Contempt is demeaning. Fear that creates an emotionally generated sense of separateness and division can foster contempt. In our highest government's office, contempt has replaced respect. You show respect by being polite and kind. We have witnessed a lack of respect for the feelings, wishes, rights, or traditions of others across the board, of not only our own countrymen, but also towards other countries and their countrymen. Respect, also called esteem, is a way of thinking, a positive feeling, and or action about something or someone considered important or held in high regard and in high esteem. It conveys a sense of admiration for good or valuable qualities. People respect others who are impressive for any number of reasons, such as being in authority, like a teacher or cop, or of an office, or of having served in the military, or being a first responder. We respect those who put their own lives at risk to help another. We can also respect others just because they are older, like a grandparent or any senior citizen. We also are all too often can respect a position or title, but not the person holding it. We want to be sure that those we offer respect and deem worthy offer you the same. For many will say things, but their actions show otherwise. And then you meet individuals who combine lots of aspects of respect. They embody age, position of wisdom, and grace emanates out of them. People like the Dalai Lama, Reverend Desmond Tutu, and my guest this week, Lynn V. Andrews, for instance, all have something in common with each other, though they come out of different backgrounds. They each illuminate the best of what is within each of us. They offer and respect oneness, wholeness, and the reality of something bigger than themselves that they and us are part of. They respect and revere life in all of its forms. They respect humanity with all of its foibles. They respect their own weaknesses. They respect their own experiences of abuse and tragedy and still laugh. They respect the history and wisdom formed over the ages of humankind on this planet and this planet itself. They respect their attachments as part of their non-attachments. They offer other the shades of respect without a loss of self. Due regard, consideration, thoughtfulness, attentiveness, politeness, courtesy, civility, and deference. Do you? They respect themselves as expressions of spirit dancing. Do you?